I have to be careful this game, guys. Up against a Renekton with Ignite. Runes are going lethal tempo, presence of mind, alacrity, last stand, revitalize second wind, attack, speed, damage, and tenacity, slow resist. The objective of this game is to try to... Can okay, nice. so He has bone pity. He doesn't have second wind. The objective of this game is to try to get level three as quickly as possible. Our level one's better than his. We're going to fight him here. We wouldn't try to do this unless we had... Like, say we had grasp, we wouldn't have tried to do that. Our level one is so much better with le lethal tempo. Nice. Get some good damage here. We heard him use his potion. So that's how you have to do it uh, versus Renekton. You need to like hard shove at level one. Nice. I'll take that. He doesn't have TP, so I'll take that. The wave's going to be crashing. He used all of this so that's good very good for us we're gonna pick up one of those one of these as you guys are gonna see oh nice okay that minion's going under that's good so he, he's missing two minions worth of xp three minions worth of xp pretty good for us and hopefully he loses the tank minion which it seems like he will i'm always down to do to do trades like that uh, because I'm going to end up coming out on top with that one. I'm going to go through the river here and ward this little river bush. Master Yi is going to be up here shortly. Because he doesn't have flash or ignite, I'm down to really fight this guy. We have the same build right now. why he didn't have his E. Maybe he put two points into his Q or something for sustain. But now the lane is pretty much going to be solidified for me. Even if he had his E, like that's why I was holding my Q there for such a long time. I don't know if you guys were seeing that. I was purposely holding my Q for a little while. In case he did, he did dash, I wanted to, to time it and follow him. We're gonna put uh, one point in my Q. So I have two points into my Q. And then we're going to start maxing my W. Master Yi's over here. I just had a coffee, so I'm like wide awake. I'm going to use my E here. I know he doesn't have, doesn't have Ignite. Nice. So I did that so that the tank minion wouldn't crash under the tower. So he's gonna have ignite soon, in a minute. Ah, I missed that. I see Yi on the jungle. So I'm not gonna be following, following the Renekton. Down to do this, thin out the wave a little bit. She's over there still. Yep, knew it. I'm just gonna wait a sec. Using nights up, so I have to chill. in as well, but we weren't able to. It's fine. Okay, so Renekton backed. Um, really good for us. So what we're going to do, we're going to push up this wave and then TP back to the lane. Nice. Okay, so it's going to crash. 
We're going to TP back to lane. We're going to pick up this. And then, honestly, I think we're going to pick up a Randuin. Uh, oh, wait. No, we don't have enough for it. We're going to pick up uh, one of these. It's just going to help out for the healing that he does. Pick it back. A little bit of a slow recall, but it's fine. I was really hoping that the wave would have crashed. I mistimed it. That was about a bit of a bad play there by me, but it's okay. So the Brambles is going to help out because he does heal quite a bit with Conquer. And at the end of the day, the... Uh, The armor is really helpful. I was really not expecting him to stun me there. I was thinking he was going to AoE Q, but it's fine. Because now that we got See Matt, we're able to push out the waves quite uh quite quickly. We can push out this next wave, potentially kill him. Ult for my ult, I'll take it. Master Yi's bot. We can just push up this next wave, heal up a little bit. It's fine. I'm just forcing him to miss XP. Ah, oh, I didn't see it. It's okay. He's missing a big wave of XP. I'd rather do this. And it's a gold reset. This wave is going to crash a little bit, which is nice. There we go. So all three of these melee minions should die at one. This one will once this minion dies. Okay, so honestly, it's fine. It's really not too big of a deal for us at all. Drop this. I'm gonna go stride breaker into this team because they got a Victor Kite, this person, like Caitlyn's range. I'm, I misplayed the ghost. Uh, that one turret shot was pretty heavy. I got rid of my E a little too soon, so I took fat amounts of damage. But the wave's gonna be slow push. Uh, fast pushing or crashing into us. So that's good. The phage is going to be helpful. He doesn't have ignite, so. It's all good. Uh, pick up. What are we going to pick up? This and then this. It's going to be a better buy than picking up a long uh, dagger. Honestly, not the worst. Not the worst because drags up. If they can get, get a kill down here, then we could maybe get that dragon. Nice. He lives? Yeah. No. Okay, so Viego's too low for us to get dragged. We're going to stay in lane till we have enough for Stride Breaker. Ideally, if we can... Nice, dude. This Master Yi is... Uh, kind of inting right now. If we have enough for Stride Breaker and Ninja Tabbies, that'll be really good. Only crappy thing about this... We haven't gotten any plates. That's the nice thing about going grass. 
is uh, you have the opportunity to go demolish, so you just grab turret platings pretty easily. I want to stay on grubs. I want to stay in lane here. He's got double buffs. I want to try to get that from him. Maybe we can grab one plate. Nah. Oh my god. That guy just popped him. <laughs> yeah, so we're not able to get the... Uh, Double bus from in there. Unfortunate. Nice. He's missing a big wave here. He doesn't have TP. We got three platings here. We can actually grab the whole tower here. Thank you. Okay. Nice. So we got steel caps and we got stride breaker. We're actually going to get this big wave, but it's fine. And now pick up. Ah, we don't have enough for anything here. We're just going to pick up this. I know it doesn't build into anything right now. Like we're still gonna finish our thorn mail, but uh, we just wanted to pick that up because it could go into many of the items that we're gonna be buying. We can go into Sundered Sky, we can go into Eclipse, we can go into Iceborne. All these items that are gonna be good on or for this build. A lot of people like they ward here. Like you wanna ward here so that it shows, there you go, exactly. So that it shows a lot of the area. If you hug the wall to Jesus, I wanted the assist, bro. If you hug the wall too much with your ward, you don't get as, get as much vision as you could. Grab this tower, with the Kaiser. Um, oh my, I gotta go up here. So I got the uh, good amount of XP there. I might build Eclipse. We'll see. Sundered Sky is good too, though. So is Iceborne. I mean, Iceborne's amazing on Warwick. I'm gonna keep putting more points to my E. My Q does enough damage right now. Like 7% is fine. The healing is kind of bad. Like only 30, 37.5% uh, isn't really good, but it's fine. I'll put one more point to my Q so it's a, an even 50. Diego was coming. Nice. 
No, he just want to come here. Okay. Was really hoping he'd uh, come mid there, but okay. gonna go top we have enough for thorn mail after this wave well next like two waves Dominated. so i want to be sure to get it unless i miss this tank minion of gold which i don't think i will nice okay so Next wave, I got Thornmail, because they're getting mid lane tower. Actually, I'm gonna stay to get some good damage on this tower. This drag's about, no, uh, drag's in 90. But we can get this. Because they have to keep people mid, right? Nice. Very good for us, and we have uh, empowered recall, so we can head down the drag pretty quickly. This, this, goodbye, very goodbye. Two of these, huge buy. So we're gonna have a good amount of tankiness, but after this, we're most likely gonna go spear visage. I'm thinking. Wow, spear visage or, I mean, wit side would be pretty good here to be honest as well of all the extra damage that we're gonna get from it some loud combat jeez mm. push bot here then check if this red's up it is up that means two people won't have it oh wait master he hasn't even completed his jungle item yet does it still drop or is it only once you get... To, I don't know. I still don't know how that works. That's all, like, stuff in the game. That's... <laughs> an old school player like me doesn't really like... Okay. Uh, I accidentally fat-fingered a point into my Q there, but whatever. It's fine. This is doing though. Soon 34. It's not bad. Cause I like having a couple of extra points into my E. Five percent damage reduction is pretty substantial. And also just the cooldown going down is really good for us too. We were very easily able to get hit by a four-man stone ult there. I just want to get Iceborne. 200 gold away. I just want to attack the tower once so that we get the little mini grubs on it. There we go. That one auto that we did did like 300. Like, look at that. That one auto we did did so much damage. Crazy. So Caitlyn alt, Victor alt, you can recall here. Wait for our Iceborne and the TP back. Ah, that sucks. Doing a lot of damage right now. 
with the Iceborne. Uh, with Thorma. 47 damage is reflected back on hit. There we go. I'm just very tanky. I think we'll go Wits End because it's going to give us a lot of damage. And it's going to give us like some nice tankiness as well for MR. Because mm. it gives us 50 MR, which is really good. 20% tenacity, which is also like Oh, very overlooked. And then gives us the on hit magic damage, which is not something to ignore. You're not gonna kill me, dude. I again put another point into my queue. I'm just fat figuring it. Like, I'm auto autopilot doing this. I'm not even meaning to. I really want to put points into my E. Yo, there's no way. Dude, I held my Q and it didn't go through. Ugh, it didn't slide me out of the Victor cage. Oh my god, man. If I if I was able to get out of that, that would have been massive. Oh, that would have been massive. Look at this e, What is this guy doing? What is this guy? How is this Emerald 2? 3? Whatever it is. Yeah, so like the Wits End is gonna make my alt deal effectively like an extra 210 damage, 240 damage. Cause it's three on hit effects. It, it's just gonna be good, man. You'll see. You gotta be, bro, he's gonna alt you if he saw vision. Hello? Maybe he already ulted? Or she already ulted? Yo. I kind of griefed there. Viagar, like, Vigar is still 2 HP. He was 2 HP a minute ago. Why didn't he... Okay. We got TP up. I'm going to sell... Nah. I'd rather keep the Doran's Blade, to be honest. 15 magic damage on hit isn't really going to do too much. I'd rather have 10 AD and 3% lifesteal, 3.5% lifesteal, 100 HP. After Wits End, I think we'll go Jack Show. It's going to be a good build. That, that That's always going to be like a good all-around build because you have good enough damage with the Wits End and um, uh, Stride Breaker plus Lethal Tempo. Rekin has some, some high armor, but he doesn't have really any MR, so. What sounds gonna be big? I just gotta complete that.
Dude, Vigor needs to attack this thing, man. He does like 1500 damage with a WQ. Thank you. Like. Top here. We don't have the damage on towers because Kaiser backed. I don't really have a lot of AD. Yeah, we have grubs, but if Vigar was alive, I would have went mid because his autos would have done like 400 in auto. So I'd rather just be a little bit safer and get this tower. Ghost there. Kind of crazy, but it's okay. Okay, we got Wits on. Now we're dealing a lot of damage. Now we're dealing a ton more damage, dude. So with these, with this setup, when we get um, Jack Show, we're gonna basically have like 300 armor. So we're gonna have 300 armor. We're gonna have 100, like by the time we're 18, we're basically gonna have 100, like almost 80 MR. Oh no. Ah, dude. I misplayed there hard. But I didn't actually 200 damage there. It's not bad. No, 300 damage. Nice. Like, obviously, if I had an item like Bork, I would be doing way more damage than if I were to have Wit's End. But at the end of the day, this also gives us tankiness, it gives us a lot more attack speed. Right, 30% more attack speed is good. It's just, like, they're just two, 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 two different items. You, like, you can't compare. You can't compare the, the two. The only difference is, like, the only thing that's the same is that they both deal on hit damage. Bork is, is going to deal more damage, but you're also very squishy with Bork, right? Well, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Peace.